All right, Bart, are you ready for another blind taste test? Ready as I'll ever be. Now, you may notice that this week you don't have a beer in front of you. Well, this should be easy then. You're going to be blind taste testing something a little bit different. You know, someone with your experience in beer has a, has a lot of responsibility to the public in a lot of ways. And one of those is telling people what beer to pair food with. Hmm. And so today, on a show I don't have a name for yet, you're going to find out the perfect style of beer to pair with a McDonald's McRib. Alrighty then. Have you have you had a McRib before, Bart? I believe I have. Not something I order very often. <laughs> what uh, what do you know about the McRib? I know um I think it's not always available. Right. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I think that's all there really is to know aside from it's uh, some sort of meat. Some, some sort of meat. Some sort right. of barbecue sauce, pickles, hopefully and onions. Something, hopefully coming from a rib of some animal. I mean, if you look at the patty, it looks like it's a rib patty, but it's just it's just formed like that. It's okay. Not real. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> but why don't you go ahead and uh, take a bite out of, out of that? Do you have any preconceived ideas as to maybe what kind of beer is going to go with something like this? I try not to. It, it helps with the uh, process if I don't have a preconceived idea of what beer might go with it first. <laughs> All right, well, you can go ahead and dive in. All right. It does vaguely. <laughs> it's rib and Vaguely re re resemble rib meat, maybe? A little bit like a chicken nugget. Okay. It vaguely resembles okay. chicken, you know. Um, there's a lot of barbecue sauce on it, which is probably its saving grace. Is, is it is it tangy, sweet, smoky? What kind of um, barbecue sauce? A little tangy, more sweet than anything else, probably. Not a lot of spice to it. Mm. And it's got some... Mm, I'm talking about my mouthful now. <laughs> Your mom would be ashamed. Proud? Oh, shame. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's pickles, which I haven't gotten to yet, you know, because it's not evenly distributed. And some onions. We'll see how that changes it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay. Does that make it better? I, do th I think the pickle improves it a little bit. Yeah. With that little bit of vinegar, um, Hmm. Okay. Now I gotta think about what I'm actually gonna pair with this. I'd say our best bet is to kind of come up with a couple different styles and we'll bring them out and taste test them. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. All right. I'll meet you right back here. All right. Looks like you've got some beers that you have selected to pair with the McRib. Give me a rundown of what you got here and why you chose those. Well, I uh, I like to cover my bases, and um, and so I've got what, <clears throat> in my mind, I think is going to work. One of these two for sure. Basically, um, these are a blonde ale, but made with lime, and a Mexican lager. Okay. Uh, over on this side, we've got sort of the wild cards that might work really well or might be really, really bad, and you never know for sure until you try it. <laughs> so we got a hazy IPA over here, and we've got a stout. All right, where are you starting? Uh, I think I'm going to start over here, thinking that these are going to work well, and then um, I want to work my way this way and back. Okay. But first, I'm going to take one more bite. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that works pretty well. Mm. Mm, 
that works. That works, works really well. Let's see how this one does. That first one was the blonde with lime. Yeah, and this is the Mexican lager, which doesn't work, work quite as well, like, which is a little bit surprising to me. I thought that one might be the winner. Um, all right, let's refresh this again. Good beer, doesn't clash, but I'm not so sure it complements so much. But with that much flavor in there, it's uh, gotta scrub it. Mm. I'm getting barbecue sauce all over me. Mm. Wow. Okay. So I'm a little surprised. Um, Although a good beer, I'm gonna say I'm gonna immediately eliminate the hazy IPA. Um, and probably also the Mexican lager. Bye, have a great time. So we have one regular and one wild card in the running. Yeah, that, you'd be surprised how often that happens. Um, so. I'm gonna taste them in reverse order now and see whether that changes anything. Alright Bart, looks like you've got them lined up in order. Would you care to tell us what they are and what place they finished in? Yeah, I got them all mixed up so I have no idea. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, so here um, is, there's two surprises here for me. One is that this Mexican lager um, I did not very much enjoy with the McRib. That's a surprise for me. Um, so in the next place here, we've got the Hazy IPA, which um, was quite an enjoyable beer, but didn't really move the needle one way or the other for me. Could didn't really make much difference. So you could drink it by itself with eat it with you know you drink it with something else. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, I did enjoy the stout. I think it complements the barbecue sauce that's in there really nicely. Um, so that's the second place, and then the winner here is our blonde ale brewed with wine. Uh, and I really love the flavors and how well it complemented what we had going on here. So that's the lineup.